All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. So it's time for the monthly oil production levels updates for non-OPEC member nations, starting with a former OPEC member who left a little over a year ago, Angola. Their oil production peaked at about 2 million barrels per day a while back, and they have declined down to now around 1.1 and have brought online a few new offshore fields that have been enough to hold off their decline for a little bit, but it's not going to be able to carry on forever. And this time they came in at 1.13 million barrels per day. Azerbaijan hit 1.1 at its peak and has since declined down to under 600,000, coming in this time at 588. Meanwhile, Argentina peaked without hitting 1 million and had then declined down conventionally to about 400,000. However, has over the last years been fracking the Vaca Muerte shale, which has brought their oil production back up into the 700,000s now, around 740 at the moment, and will probably see them hitting a second peak higher than their first, at likely around 1.1. Australia had peaked at 800,000. They fell all the way down into the 200s, got back up to 400 because of all the condensate that accompanied that natural gas offshore of their northwestern coast. But that's run its course now, and they've declined back down into the 200s, this time coming in at 253. Brazil has otherwise hit 4 million. However, shortly after bringing those new fields and operations online, they had to shut other ones down for maintenance, some of which were decently large. So they're down still at the moment at three and a half. Canada, as expected over the course of last year, was able to raise their production upwards by another 200,000 barrels per day or so, and got up to previously 5.1, but that's leveling off here as expected as they only crept up just a little bit from that over the past month from 5.1 up to 5.12 million barrels per day. China still continuing to hold on in the lower fours as they continue adding one modest field in their offshore waters after another, as their offshore territory does harbor oil and gas, just not in the most impressive manner. This time they came in at 4.18. Colombia, meanwhile, continuing to gradually stair-step their way down from their second peak of 1 million barrels per day. This time they came in at 765. Ecuador continuing their gradual decline from their peak of 550 and are down into the 470s, this time at 472. Egypt, meanwhile, having fallen down from its peak of about 900 to first the 600s and then down into the 500s. They're now, since it's been a few years, they're now falling out of the 500s, this time continuing down to 516,000 barrels per day. Ghana, after rebounding their production a little bit from enhanced recovery operations, is continuing to hold close to 190, this time coming in at 188. Guyana, continuing to creep down just a bit at a time from the gradual declines that are starting in its first field, since that field has been ongoing for about six years now, this time coming in at 650,000 barrels per day, and later this year, their fourth field will be coming online, that will see them jump up to around or just under 900,000. India, after plateauing for a while, has been falling down, although they've slowed that descent recently, but they have fallen under the 600s, this time at 587. Meanwhile, India's domestic oil consumption is over 10 times that amount now, and has almost hit 6 million for the first time, setting a new record recently at 5.88 million barrels per day of demand. Indonesia once held a plateau around 1.5 or 1.6, but they reached the end of their ability to maintain that a couple decades ago, and have since declined down under 600,000, and this time came in at 576. Kazakhstan should now have just passed over 2 million barrels per day, or at least hit 2 million, and this will be the first time 
They did come pretty close before pre-2020 and all the disruptions and everything, but they didn't actually get to 2 million back then. Now, however, they have actually hit 2 million as the as production has started from a massive expansion project at one of their larger fields. Malaysia continuing to hold off its decline to wobble around in the upper 400s, this time actually coming back up to 491,000 barrels per day. Mexico continuing to still hang out in the upper ones, where it will likely be staying around for the next five plus years or so, as with enhanced recovery operations and the new fields, the few new fields, although decently large enough, that they do have a set to come online over the next five years or so, will be just enough to keep their production in this same general area for that time period. This time they came in at 1.84. Norway, although long fallen from their North Sea production heights, did not dive down into the abyss like the UK did. Norway has stalled off their decline for the time being and for another few decades still, and they've been holding roughly undulating around 2 this time coming in at 2.02 .02 million barrels per day. Oman, although not a member of OPEC, does obey the orders from Saudi Arabia from within OPEC, and they are continuing to hold under 1 million barrels per day, and they came in this time at 992,000. Hector up in the Persian Gulf, another former OPEC member who left because of not wanting to follow the cuts anymore. They are continuing to hold their plateau around 1.3. Russia having almost reached 11 million barrels per day again before invading Ukraine, and then afterwards, immediate customer absence forced them to cut down to 10, and covered over with a array of varying excuses. They have gradually seen their production fall further and further since then, as the outside oil majors who rescued their oil production post-Soviet collapse are no longer operating in the country, They've been out for three years about now, and the Russian oil industry cannot really hold it together, at least the tougher Arctic and permafrost stuff by themselves. That combined with now, the past month and a half or so, seeing actual every night relentless Ukrainian drone swarm strikes, taking sizable chunks out of the Russian oil infrastructure, both storage depots, refineries, pipelines themselves and pipeline pumping stations. They had already dropped down to and below 9 million barrels per day previously. Now they've dropped further down to 8.93. Thailand held a plateau in the mid 200,000s for a while, but they've hit the end of their ability to maintain that and have since declined down into the mid or lower 100,000s, although it looks like some enhanced recovery operations have brought them back up above 150 now as they came in at 165,000 this time. Turkmenistan, having declined from its quarter million peak roughly, is still holding around 190, coming in at 191,000 again. The UK, once up at Great North Sea production heights like Norway, has, as I said before, fallen into the abyss, and has continued declining all the way down now to under 700,000, this time actually coming all the way down to 600. The U.S. continues gradually declining after hitting a temporary peak of 13.63 million back towards the end of last year, and over the last couple months they have gradually declined down to 13.47. They will see higher numbers, their ultimate final peak will be just a bit higher, primarily coming from a few fields in the Gulf of Mexico, that will be starting up over the next year and a half or so, along with a few projects back up home in Alaska, as the shale, the primary driver of everything up to this point, has reached its limit in terms of its ability to continue pushing upwards further. And Vietnam held a plateau in the mid 300,000s for a couple decades, but has reached the end of their abilities, though they're a bit constrained because of China's whole building artificial islands in the South China Sea and then claiming everything within 200 kilometers of each of those islands to belong to China, thus, you know, Vietnam not being allowed to do anything in that region, and has fallen down now to the mid-100s, this time at 160,000 barrels per day. All right, that's it for this one, so thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me, and we do so if you actually can. 
There's a link below that in the description to a Google Drive folder. In there, you'll find these graphs and all kinds of other different graphs across all kinds of different subjects and metrics. There's a link to my photography Instagram, a link in the top pinned comment to my cat's YouTube channel. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.